Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create dashboard in ServiceNow. I have logged into my ServiceNow account. Click call. So you will find dashboards under the self-service. Click that. So click create a dashboard. So first we need to provide the dashboard name. So I am going to create a dashboard for managing my incident. So I am going to give the name as incident management dashboard. So you, if you wanted to restrict access to specific roles, you can click this restrict to specific roles and give access only to this role people. So I am not going to restrict any access. Then uh, this active is by default enabled. So leave it as enabled. So if you wanted to access this dashboard. And since I am creating this by default, it is setting me as the owner. So if you wanted to change, you can change. Click submit. So now we have successfully created this dashboard. So this is the incident dashboard menu. So here you'll be able to, if you want to create new dashboard, you can create. If you wanted to change the properties, you'll be able to change it. If you want to delete this dashboard, you can do it. If you want to duplicate, you can do this. If you want to copy this dashboard URL and share that, you can do this. If you wanted to create favorite, this dashboard as a favorite dashboard, you can do this. If you wanted to create an additional tab, you can do that. If you want to export, you will be able to do this. All these things from the dashboard menu. So now we don't have any widgets, so we need to add the widgets. So already the widgets, this thing is open. So if it is not open, you can click this plus symbol and you'll be able to open this. So again, in the widget category, there are many items. So if we have uh, categorized any reports as favorites you'll be able to see this or you'll be able to get the list of reports and from that you will be able to add the reports as widgets here and we have multiple options here so here you can select the content blocks so this al allows you to add a new iframe uh, to us as one of the widget here so you'll be able to add it you'll be able to configure any new any other external URL and then you can add able to add that as a new iframe get back so we will now add uh, the set of reports which already I have created uh, so I'm going to add this as part of this incident management dashboard so let me create reports so since I'm going to I'm interested only incident related reports I'm just going to search for it okay so I am going to select some of the reports which I have already generated here so I'm just going to select them and add it here and then we will rearrange and we will see what are the other things we'll be able to perform here I'm going to add this next I'm going to add incidents per week we'll be able to preview and add them incident by status incidents by assignee Incidents by month. Okay, so I have added reports as widgets here. Okay, so now let us go and do the customization because I don't want my widgets to appear in this way here in this layout. So click this configuration. So you have some. Uh, quick layout options available so I am going to click the first one so now you can see the immediately the layout is supplied so the background is uh, it's white so if I wanted to change I can change whatever background I wanted to change and then if I wanted to create any tab so I will be able to do that and just click create tab right so this I will I can rename this so I'll rename this tab as a incident management charts and then next one I will rename that as a incident management list so now again in this tab I will be able to add widgets so let me add one widget to here next active incidents So 
so I have added the list here let's get back so now we have used the quick layout but we can still change it we, if we wanted to modify it in a different format we will be able to do it so click the configuration so when you click the configuration so you will be able to further edit these widgets so this is an option which allow you to increase or decrease the size of the particular widget so then you can easily drag and drop back to its original position and then you will be able to just to drag and drop you'll be able to move the things here and there so here it has come down so if I wanted to place it up I'll be able to do that and then this option it will directly take you to the reports and you can edit it you can do the modifications and this is for the refresh and this is for the the further widget settings so you can say whether you want the border or you whether you want you can say if you don't want the title so all these gets applied here and if you want to do the title alignment center left right you can do that right so if you wanted to have the tile any different color so that you'll be able to do it right so all these things are possible so now let us rearrange this a bit okay so first I'm going to put the incidents by status in the top and then the incidents by priority incidents by month okay so now I'll show you one of the another feature of this so let's click this edit widget so here you can see there are options like act as an interactive filter so this is one of the important feature so when you enable this particular chart as act as an interactive filter so you will be able to filter this and that filter will be applied across the other widgets which is following this filter so now let, let's click this as done so now let's go and edit the other widgets so we will tell follow and we need to enable even show when following filter so that we will be able to see those changes click done similarly let's go and edit this follow this interactive filter click done so this open incidents we will leave it like this the edit widget so again we will this follow done incidents again we will edit this widget so we'll follow show when following filter done okay so now let us some apply some filter and check so i'm going to select only incident by the status new click it now you can see all other widgets which is following this particular widget it is getting changed it is getting refreshed so if you want to remove the filter you can just again put it back right and then again you have an option where you will be able to share this dashboard with the either the groups users or the roles so if you wanted to share with a specific user then you can search for that user and then you'll be able to share it with them and you can give them the option whether they'll be able to just view the dashboard or they can edit as well but just keep in mind uh, this dashboard comprises of multiple reports so first ensure the user have access to the reports and then share the dashboard otherwise they will have get access to the dashboard but they may not be able to see the individual reports so in this demo we have seen how to create dashboard in service now thanks for watching the demo